Hi guys, welcome to Craft University. I'm Mara and we're on campus today working on our assignment with paper, scissors, and glue, and the rest is up to you. Let's see what today's assignment is. Today's assignment is to make a locker. Well, that's pretty cool. We can make a mini version of the Craft University locker. We'll create a rectangular prism shape. So it'll be a long rectangle with four sides and a top and a bottom. And then we can create some legs on the locker like this. And then of course the locker needs a door on the front. So we'll create a door like this. And we can put some hinges so that it can open. And maybe a number up top. And a little handle so that we can open it and then some vents here. Okay, let's get to work. I'm gonna make my locker out of this bright green color and you can make your locker out of any color that you like. So to start building the four walls of the locker, I'm going to fold the paper almost in half. But leaving a little bit of space at the top here. Now we want our locker to have four walls, but so far we only have two sides. So let's create another side to the locker by folding into the middle like so. So, so far we've got one, two, three sides, and now we have to create a fourth side. Okay, so now you can see that we've kind of created this long rectangular prism. And I'm going to fold this excess over to create a tab. So there we go, we've created a four-sided locker with a little bit of extra space to attach the locker once we're ready to glue it shut. Next, let's do a little bit of designing. So I want the locker to have little feet like our Craft University locker has. So I'm going to use a ruler to draw a length along my paper. So this will be the height of the legs. And now I'm going to draw the legs themselves. So everywhere that there's a fold or a corner, I've created a little leg that the locker can stand on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out these parts and leave these behind as the legs. And if you accidentally cut one of the locker's legs off, it's not a problem. You can always glue one on afterwards. There we go. I'm going to fold up the locker just so you can have a little peek at what it looks like. There we go. So we have the nice locker shape and the little legs that will help it stand up. Next, let's work on the front of the locker to create the door that will swing open and shut. So this panel here will end up being the front of the locker. So I'm going to draw a door. This will just be a rectangle, except that it only has three sides. I'm going to draw a dotted line here. Just to show that this is where the door will fold, but this is the part that will cut out. I sometimes find that it's tricky to cut into the middle of paper. 
So a nice trick that you can use to avoid poking your fingers is to put an eraser under uh, the part of your design that you're looking to cut. And then very carefully open your scissors, being careful about your fingers, and just sort of poke a tiny little hole. Like so. And then you have a little opening that you can get your cutting started with. I think I'm going to go into my locker and get my tiny scissors. This is a job for tiny scissors. <laughs> We've got one, two, three sides of the rectangle cut, and we've left the fourth side attached to function like the hinge of the door. And I've cut just a little bit downward on either side so that the door can swing more freely. So let's put a bend in this flap so that it can work actually like the door of the locker. it back this way too. So I think it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and decorate the front of the locker. We'll put a handle, a number, and some vents on it so it looks like a real locker. I'm going to use this gray color to make the number, the hinges, and the handle of the locker. Let's start by cutting two tiny rectangles to represent the hinges. I think this size works really nicely for the hinges. I'm gonna round the corners a little bit. Next, I'm going to cut out a small rectangle to be the number plate on the locker. Next, I'm going to add a number to the number plate, but I think it's a little bit too tiny to do with cut and paste. So I'm going to use a thin marker to draw some of the details on. What number should we put? This is a great place to showcase your favorite number. And I'm going to draw two little circles with a line through to look like the screws that are holding the number plate in place. There we go. And then I think the last thing that we need is a little handle to open the locker door. So again, we'll use another small rectangle to do that. I'm going to create some folds so that the handle can kind of stick out from the front of the locker. You can see we can use this part as a handle and leave the little tabs to glue like this. And then I think I'll use that fine tip marker again to create these vents. So I'll draw three little lines at the top and three little lines at the bottom. All right, I think we're in pretty good shape. I'm going to glue down these little bits and do a little bit of tidying up and I'll meet you back here. If we check on the progress of the locker, I think it's looking pretty good so far, pretty realistic. But I also think it'd be fun if you kind of play with the locker. So, you know, if you wanted to open the door that you could um, put stuff inside of it, but right now it's just sort of an empty tunnel. 
if you put something inside, it will just sort of fall through. Um, so I think it'd be a good idea if we make a top for the locker, a bottom for the locker, and maybe a shelf so that you could put some stuff on it. Let's figure out how to get that done. Let's make the extra pieces using the same green color. I don't really know what the smartest way to do this is, but I'm just gonna use the shape of the locker to try and rough out how big the top and bottom should be. Now we know this is about the size that we need. I'm gonna use a ruler to kind of neaten things up a little bit. Okay, so let's hope this size and shape works out really nicely. I've also added some extra tabs that we can use to attach the pieces. Because we need a top, a bottom, and a shelf, I'm going to cut out three versions of the same piece. Okay, we've got three pieces. Let's fold to create tabs. Now I'm going to flip the locker over so we can work on the wrong side and we can attach the bottom, top, and shelf. So I'm going to put one piece near the bottom. So this will function at the bottom of the locker. And then I'm going to put one piece in the middle. which will function like the shelf in the locker. And then I'm gonna glue the last piece to the top to function like the roof of the locker. So you can see this is what we've got so far. And when you peek in from the front, it'll be like this. All right, we're in the home stretch. All we have to do is put some glue on each of these tabs. And I'm gonna put some glue on this tab as well. And then you can roll the locker up and hold it to dry. Okay, so I think we've got our locker nicely constructed. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few little accessories to decorate my locker, do a little bit of tidying up, and I'll meet you guys back here. All right, so here's my finished locker design. So I cut out a little tiny combination lock and I decorated it and stuck it on the handle there. I also went ahead and decorated the inside door with some reminders and posters that are held on by tiny little magnets. And then I also made some fun little binders and notebooks and a tiny craft university notebook that um, I can store inside of my locker. Let's see if I can put them on the top shelf here. Here we go, so ready for school. Like that. Guys, I would say that is assignment complete. I had so much fun hanging out with you on campus today. If you want to hang out and make some more cool stuff together, you can subscribe to this channel. You can also like the video or share it with a friend. 
or you can leave me a comment down below. Let me know what color you made your locker, what number you put on it, or some of the fun stuff that you put inside. I'll choose one super crafty commenter and send them some cool craft university gear. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. And if you accidentally cut your leg off, <laughs> don't cut your leg off.